YouTube, it is Vaping Canuck, and I'm back here again with another e-cig video. This time it's more of an informational video about the bases that are available whenever it comes to your e-liquids. Now, um, the first that I'd like to tell you about is propylene glycol, otherwise known as PG. Propylene glycol, it sounds like a, you know, a chemical, it's scary sounding but actually is completely organic. Now, what's interesting about PG, and not a lot of people realize, is that propylene glycol is uh, vaporized, much in the same way as this, and put through the vents of hospitals. Now, this acts as a germicide and keeps all of the, you know, germs down inside your lungs, believe it or not. At least I have found this. Whenever I'm sick, I keep a bottle of PG juice around 100% PG so that I can vape it and kill whatever it is that's trying to work its way down into my lungs. That's what I like so much about PG, so it is never leaving my lineup unless I develop like a, an allergy to it or something, because that is possible. There are some people that can be sensitive to propylene glycol. So, if you find that you're short of breath or you have any of the symptoms associated with it, please feel free to look it up somewhere else on uh, the interwebs. Go to Google, look it up for PG sensitivity when it comes to e-cigs. <clears throat> if you can't use that, then I highly suggest you use vegetable glycerin. I had tried vegetable glycerin a month or two into vaping, didn't really like it in comparison to PG, but now that I've been vaping for over a year, it's making its way into my rotation more and more. Now, um, Nick Fit Nation does a 33% BG, 66% PG mix, and I love that ratio. I don't know if it was just some sort of idea that he had to make it exactly this ratio, um, or if it's just he found that that's what he vaped himself or something, but it's just bang on. I love it. I love that mixture. Now, to the last and the, to the last part of this video, which is more or less a public service announcement, uh, the last and final base that I suggest you don't try is polyethylene glycol, otherwise called PEG or PEG. Now, polyethylene glycol <clears throat> isn't in and of itself very bad. It's actually a replacement for VG in a lot of products that we use because uh, PG is um, in hand creams and pills, so where there can't be PG used, they'll use PEG, just for price reasons and all that kind of thing. Now, the problem with the e-juice, with polyethylene glycol, is that it contains trace amounts of what's called diethylene glycol, or DEG. Now, I'm not kidding when I say this stuff is poisonous. I'm not going to try to be a fear monger here because that's not what this is all about. This is about letting people know that this is out there and they need to avoid it. And that this is causing more problems than it's solving for the vaping community, at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, essentially, because of those trace amounts of diethylene glycol, it worries me. Diethylene glycol is renowned for being so poisonous, and it is an organic substance. But, that being said, just because it's organic doesn't mean it's good. Uh, Deadly Nightshade is plenty organic, and that'll kill you deader than a hammer faster than you can say, huh? So, I really don't think that this juice is going to kill you like that. I really don't. It's trace minute amounts, but I just don't think you should be vaping it. I think for the safety of anybody out there, for their long-term health, if you've tried PEG juice, please find that flavor that you like in some other base, because I really can't see long-term exposure to trace amounts of diethylene glycol to be good for you. So I hope that this doesn't cause too many waves in the community. I'm trying to help. Um, I know that this is somewhat of a controversial issue, and that some people, I'm sure, are going to like PEG more than any of the other bases. Now, that being said, please don't take out your anger on me. I'm just trying to do my best because this is some of the research I found along the way, and I don't think it's very wise at this point to be vaping any 
level of diethylene glycol in your polyethylene glycol juices. So I hope I said everything right. I hope I didn't stumble over anything on you. And uh, I'll end this video by saying I'd rather vape on my feet than smoke on my knees. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.